Hey everybody, and welcome back to Emerald Coast. We are very busy today. We are going to have lots of folks out here helping us in the fields. In fact, uh, we've got uh, Barbara here behind us helping us uh, haul our square baler. We're actually going to do a little bit of an equipment swap down at the dealer. And I've got another helper over in our big grass field. Let's see if we can't zoom out. Uh, they're up there in the big grass field, uh, putting a coat of fertilizer down, uh, hoping we can get that maximum output out of that uh, out of that hay field for a little bit later. And uh, we're about to uh, get another one of our helpers uh, working over here on field 12, uh, where we harvested canola yesterday. Uh, we're going to uh, see if we can't put down a layer of slurry. Uh, we've picked up a slurry tank, and uh, we're going to see if we can't uh, get this field slurried, or at least the majority of the field slurried with the uh, amount of uh, liquid manure that we have from our pigs and from our cows. Um, just going to stop here for now. And cut off this guy. All right, so I've already staged uh, the tractor over here and our slurry tank. And I wanted to uh, talk about setting uh, course play up to basically autofill our slurry tank. So what we're going to do is we're first going to be in the fertilize and seed mode, which is right down here. We're going to go to our course generation. It's the wonderful GUI interface. We're just going to pick field 12. And we're just going to do up and down passes. So we're not going to bother with uh, with headlands or anything. All right. Now, once we have that, now we're going to save that course. Okay. So we're going to call this field 12. Um, very spread. Okay. I'm going to delete that, clear that course. We're going to come back, and we're going to do a course generation. And we're going to generate a second course. This one's going to be really, really simple. We're going to come out here to about this area of the field, and we're going to do a. We're going to be fairly well pointed to where we want to go now. We're going to do start course, and all we're going to do is loop around the slurry fill point. Okay, we're just going to take it nice and easy. On up in here. Pull in close, but not on top of. Slurry fill point. A nice leisurely loop around. Got a, still got to get our header trailer out of here. It's like I uh, left that over here. And we're going to loop back to the field right here. Okay. Then we're going to stop. Let's pull up a little bit more. Then we're going to stop. Okay, so we're going to call this Field 12 um, Surrey Fill. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our courses and we're going to pick our slurry spread course. Then we're going to pick the folder with a plus slurry fill and you'll see down here at the bottom it says two combined courses okay I'm going to switch this to start at the first waypoint which is right here and we're going to go ahead and there you go okay so now what the uh what the slurry tank's going to do is he's going to apply slurry on this field until he's full or until he's empty. And then once he's empty, he's going to drive up here. Let's just get out. Whoa, let's not get hit. He's going to drive up here to, uh, what, just about this point here, uh, which is where we started the other course. He's going to drive right on, follow our tracks here. 
drive right on around, and somewhere around this point, he's going to stop. He's going to fill up, then he's going to continue on around to just about here, and then he's going to pick back up with wherever he was on this first course and continue on. Okay? So we're just going to hang out here and uh, just watch him do that uh, little deal. All right, so our slurry tanker is on his return trip. Uh, he went one full pass down, and he's going to come back and look like make almost a full second pass. Of course, with each um, pass, he's going to get a shorter distance. Okay, so he's empty. I'm going to pull up here to... Uh, to that first, uh, to that second course's starting point. And then he's just going to uh, loop around. So, when you do this, you can basically set the guy off to autofill and uh, not really have to worry about it. There he goes, he's filling up. So, you can really do the same thing here with like cedars and fertilized spreaders. So if you're doing a, uh, a seed job and you know you're going to have to refill your cedar um, and that's why you've decided not to use course play, well, you could uh, record two courses, one to obviously seed the field, one to loop around the, um, the seed fill point, and the, uh, the course play driver would basically, when he ran it dry, go and fill up and come back and start anew. Okay, so here he is. He's pulling up to the stop point on the second course. And now he's just going to continue on. We're going to see him make a loop around and basically start where he uh, left off. Let's start the loop here. And off he goes again. And we're just going to let him do his job. I've also got over here our case harvester. And I've got him harvesting barley over here. I'd already set up a course to, uh, there we go, I've already set up a unload course for the gravity wagon here to take the, uh, the barley back to the arable farm, and I've already set up a course for our harvester to do his job. So we're just going to let these guys do their thing. And let's jump back over here. And get back to what we were doing. Like I said, we're going to have a busy day. We're going to have lots of guys working for us today. So far we've got, um, what, four, four folks working for us? There he goes, continuing on, and uh, he'll continue to do that until basically the um, pigs are out of slurry. At that point, we will uh, we could record a second course, which takes him up to the cow slurry point, loops him around that, and comes back, and then and then basically append that to uh, to the first course. Um, so that then he can fill up from the cow point. Uh, but we'll see how far he gets there. I'm really not sure how far he'll be able to make it. And what we're doing up here is we are going to um, trade in our Massey Ferguson baler and our uh, bale trailer here for a different model baler and for a 
different um, size bale trailer. Always felt that this bale trailer was a little bit too big um, for for this this uh, this map, especially for the bale stacks that are under shed. This bale trailer is way too big for that. So we've got a different bale trailer that holds just 10 bales as opposed to 16. And in keeping with the John Deere theme, I've got a John Deere square baler that will fit the period quite nicely um, that we're going to uh, swap it out with. So we had a little bit of a late start this morning because we needed to wait for the uh, shop to open so that we could uh, swap these two bits of equipment out. Yep, I do believe both pieces of equipment are already waiting for us to pick up. We just need to uh, drop these off and uh, sell them and get ourselves a credit back. So this one. Let's see if he's still far enough in to sell. Yep. Sell him off. All right. Let's see if that John Deere can make that turn. Yep. Made it. Got a little squirrely, but he made it. We went with a black and yellow theme for our bale trailer. And our John Deere square baler. And we're just going to, uh, we're going to take a shortcut and wind through this area. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, set our square baler off on the same harvest course that our harvester used. Then we're going to manually drive around and pick up the bales. We may go around and um, and do the first headland just because it's so close to the uh, to the fence. Then we'll let this guy go. guy off. Oh, it's got a little bit of barley in it, but not a lot. For our pickup, start her off.
Like I said, we're gonna do the first headland here by ourselves. Then we will uh, let him do the rest. Up and pull up our course. Field two, five headland harvest. Is that it? No, probably wasn't it. It's probably the five headland harvest grain. We've got two courses here. That's probably the one we did. Um, simply because we probably named it grain because later, later on, I bought that, uh, we bought that corn head. So the first course, which didn't specify which, um, harvester header we used, was probably from last year when we harvested. So... We're gonna do this one. The reason I wanted to see if uh, how full that gravity wagon was with barley is that I wanted to uh, make sure that he could um, well, wrong mode. Wheel work mode. Drive course. Just spin up. What are you doing? Oh. Two courses selected for some reason. There we go. Just gonna send him off. Now billing. And it looks like Not much we can do around that since, uh, it's a guy pulled in the way. At any rate. Oh, and I thought he would do that because this guy does not make very good turns. Might run into the fence up at the other side. Should be good after this. So for those that have seen my um, South Mountain Creamery live streams, you've uh, seen this bale trailer in a different uh, color format. So we brought it in over to uh, to this series. I like this bale trailer for a couple reasons. Uh, one, it's got some really cool sounds and animations related to loading the bale on the trailer. And it's got some really nice animations and everything related to um, loading, unloading the bales. And there are two modes associated with this bale trailer. There's expert mode, and then there is rookie mode. So we just changed over from profi mode, so um, professional, to rookie because that bale was just messed up. But basically, in professional mode, you got to come right up 
pretty square to the bale and get it pretty well lined up for the pickup to take. You can see I'm not I'm not off by much. Pickup's not one to take, okay? I just switched over to rookie mode because I don't know why I didn't pick up there. This trailer also has dynamic hoses, which are pretty cool. Let's go back into professional mode and Maybe we need to unfold it and fold it back when we change modes like that. I don't know. We'll just leave it in. Uh, we'll just leave it in, perf in rookie mode. We still get the cool animations of it uh, kind of dropping dirt down, and it loads slower. He's stuck again on that fence. So these, uh, that particular John Deere does not turn at all. Save him more time. And our bale trailer is almost full. Part eight. Two more, and it'll be full. And I like these these back vertical members uh, because when you look, tip the trailer up, they kind of squeeze the bale stack, kind of to hold them and support them as they are. Uh, you know, in the vertical position. And we'll come by later and pick up these, uh, these turns. All right, let's take our load up the straw, up to the um, up to the cow farm, right beside our square bale stack that's under the shed. Uh, we've got of hay, we've got a square bale stack ready for except our straw, so we won't have any problem uh, dropping this off and storing it. But we've got all our help here for two reasons. One, we want to flip um, these three fields over to corn. And we've got uh, basically two and a half days yet to do that. Uh, we've got one field that we are fertilizing. Uh, we've got a field that we, we're harvesting right now. We've got two fields we need to get the straw off of. Uh, then we've got two more fields to fertilize. Um... And I'd like to see if we can maybe, I don't think we're going to have time to plow um, field 12. So we might, we're just going to have to put corn down once we get it um, fertilized and then cultivated. And possibly fertilized again. Looks like our New Holland over here 
is done. Not New Holland, but our case over here is done fertilizing. Looks like they maybe have shut the tractor off and run across the street here to get some food, get some lunch. We'll see if we can't maybe get them started on fertilizing the uh, third grass field up there after they get done their lunch. I don't know if you all are hearing it, but uh, my son is having a fabulous time playing the Wii at the moment. It's uh, making a fair bit of noise. But I don't know if my mic's picking it up or not. So here we got the cool unload animation. See the grab squeeze and then just kind of retrain and retract. See, it tilts up and now fits under the shed here quite nicely. The other one was, I think, warping through the... Uh, the other was warping through the building. This works fairly well. I think it kind of still warps through, but... It suits us much, much better than the other stack did. And look at that. Lined up. Are they slightly off? Oh, they're a little bit off, I think. Oh, no. Pretty good. That'll be pretty sweet. Let's swing over here and see how our slurry guy is doing. Still got, got, what, two full pallets of uh, wool over there. Got to be careful not to get stuck um, up here. This this area over here by the between these fields and the compost facility is rather muddy. Got to really be careful. This whole. Um, section between um, fields 14 and uh, what's this other field field directly in front of us this road right here is really really bad it's really easy to get stuck in the mud even when we haven't had a lot of rain uh, it's still really really muddy through here Makes me wonder if there might be either just a really, really uh, shallow um, natural spring that's kind of running through there, keeping keeping the ground muddy, or if the town might have some uh, some busted line through here. It is almost always, always really bad. Fine. If I drive close to the field, I can uh, usually keep a couple wheels in the dry. So he's making a turn, heading back. He's just got about just about got half the field. Uh, third of the field done. Oh! Watch out the mud. Harvest is doing a pretty good job. They're working pretty good. So we get this field of straw over here bailed up. We'll come over here and bail up this field. And field nine's not ready to harvest yet. Field eight is apparently barren. Or what the deal with that is? Uh, 
looks like we've got ourselves plenty of bales to pick up. We're going to pick these outside bales up so that there's no risk of the uh, tractor getting stuck up on the uh, up on the bales. And we're going to have periods of time where we have a whole lot of workers working. Um, because there's just a lot of work that needs to be done. Then there will be other times where pretty much there's not going to be a lot of stuff. He's driving on a bale right now over there. That's, that's danger over there. We're not going to be able to make it. Unless he's just pushing the bale, so that's okay. This one up. Drop that bale once he gets up there. So we'll just head back. And once we when we get up here and unload this uh, this bale stack, we'll get our other tractor moved over to the um, the other grass field. Get him fertilizing. Sixty-nine sheep and sixty-two pigs. I think those pigs are quickly catching up to the uh, to the sheep. We're gonna have a whole lot more pigs than sheep here very soon. Well, well, definitely because the sheep have stopped reproducing, and the pigs are gonna keep reproducing all the way through um, through till winter. Like he's out of slurry again, and he's gonna drive on up and do his fill job. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is a way to um, to do the exact same with a a manure spreader. But it involves also having a course, I think, for um, for a wheel loader or a telehandler to scoop the manure into the into the uh, spreader. That's a bit a bit too advanced for my skills. But but this works out really nice. See, he's filling up now. I don't know how much more slurry's in there. We'll have to. Uh, check it out as we drive through. Oh, well, he might be done. Might be out of slurry. Actually, because he's not filling up. Yep, he is out of slurry, so...
We'll have to uh, get him to fill from the cow farm to finish the job. Do that off camera. Since you don't need to see see that happen twice. Let's loop up here kind of through a back road into the uh, into the cow farm so we don't have to take the uh, street. Although I still have traffic turned off because if that gravity wagon does happen to get full, he will go and unload at the silo for me. But the way that harvester is filling up, I don't think I don't think we're going to fill that gravity wagon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's my turn. This road's a little hidden. It's a little overgrown. Doesn't get used a lot, I guess. Boom. Load. All right. This guy. I do that one. Good. It's a fence gate. Oh, way up here. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching. We are going to obviously finish baling and collecting those bales, finish harvesting, um, get those, get that straw up off the ground, finish uh, slurrying that field. And I um, guess when you come back, we will be planting some corn. So until next time, guys, happy farming.